I have a friend who can't make fried dumplings to save his life. He says every time he makes it, it's so tough like rock stone that even his dogs don't want to go near it. But let me tell you a secret. It is really simple. So let's go on. I'm gonna show you how to make the best Johnny cakes or as we say in Jamaica, fried dumplings. Let's get into it. Johnny cakes, or as we say here in Jamaica, fried dumpling, surprisingly originated in North America some hundreds of years ago, and they made it with cornmeal. Go figure. But nowadays we use good old all-purpose flour for fluffy, crispy, quick bread. It's an indulgent recipe that I want all y'all to learn. All y'all, like a couple of my other friends too that confess that, you know, boy, I'm a dumpling rock, rock hard, you know, I don't know how to fix this recipe. So I'm here to show you guys how to do this simple yet amazing versatile recipe that you and your kids and family will adore. Now, this is a basic rule that you should follow when you're doing like quick breads or even cakes. I usually do one cup of flour to one teaspoon of leavening agents such as baking powder. Remember, one teaspoon to one cup of flour. The ratio for salt to one cup of flour is typically quarter teaspoon. You won't end up with a dough that's too salty or too fresh. There we go. And that's it, four ingredients. Super quick, look at that. You can have breakfast ready in like 10 to 15 minutes. To get the perfect fluffy consistency that you're looking for, mix the butter and the flour. I mean, after all, we're not making fried biscuits here. Nah, you bake biscuits. <laughs> because it's a quick bread, we're not looking to knead it for too long. About two or three minutes, so that you don't get tough rock stone dumpling like my friend. Okay, as I'm doing here, I am tucking and rotating the dough in a clockwise motion. Do this until you get a smooth ball. Just like this. I'm indenting so that the middle of the dough rises faster. And so it gets that quintessential dome shape that you see, like a little pop belly shape. The heat gets to it faster, so it adds air to it and it puffs up before the outside ring of the dumpling puffs up. If you're still struggling with this video, guys, after you've watched and tried it, feel free to jump on to my cooking experience where we get to cook along this dish together. Wouldn't that be cool? Make sure you sign up to my email so you can get notified as to when this online class will be done. I'll be doing Johnny Cakes and Cook Up Selfish for that one. Now let's have some fun and show you guys how to do a stuffed dumpling. I'm using cheddar cheese, but you can use so many other things like meats, fruits, even guava cheese. And voila, we're done. I'm using a cast iron skillet because it transmits heat evenly. So cast iron skillet Dutch pots works perfectly for deep frying. Don't make your oil too hot. We're looking for moderate bubbling and a nice slow browning of our dumplings. You have to use your eyes and your intuition. If you see that it's going too fast, go ahead and turn down your heat a little bit. And we have our fried dumplings. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so crispy and so yummy. Remember that friend I told you that couldn't make dumplings to save his life? Well, he's here, so he's gonna be my taste tester. Mmm, this is fantastic. <sighs> Guys, you have to hear this crunch. Crispy and fluffy in the middle. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. 
try this recipe and let me know what you guys think. I've been dying to do Johnny cakes for y'all. Bye! What is that for me? <laughs> <laughs>